Meanwhile, temperatures here across southwest Florida still very mild this evening. We're at 75 degrees in Immokalee, 74 coming in for Fort Myers. Currently 75 degrees in Palmdale as well as LaBelle and helping you make those evening plans. Partly cloudy skies through 7 to 8 p.m. Then clouding up thereafter. So much of tonight expected to be mostly cloudy. That will also in turn help to keep temperatures a bit milder. Let's take another live look currently across the Caloosahatchee River. Just a little bit of a chop out there. Winds overall, though, have been fairly light today, certainly manageable. We have high thin cirrus clouds in the mix, and those clouds will continue to increase. But for the most part, our weather set up fairly straightforward. A dominating ridge of high pressure is really protecting the Sunshine State and bringing us just that. You can actually see how all of the clouds, any wet weather, is just kind of circulating around us because of this protective ridge of high pressure. So that's going to keep any organized storm system from getting close, at least for the next couple of days. So for the rest of tonight, clouds increasing right here at 11 o'clock. Mostly cloudy skies are expected. And tomorrow morning will be a mild start. Lower 60s on the way, but you can see that cloud cover out there. We are expecting those partly to mostly cloudy skies to continue through the day. But overall, fantastic weather for any outdoor plans that you may have. Heading into the afternoon and evening. Those winds out of the southeast 10 to 15 miles per hour. Otherwise, the windier weather is on the way for your Sunday. So helping you make those Saturday evening plans staying partly to mostly cloudy Sunday featuring sunshine to kick off Super Bowl Sunday. Of course, we have a lot of events going on to celebrate. But for the afternoon, you see these wind arrows really picking up in intensity and in velocity. That's because those winds will really start to pump out of the south ahead of our next cold front. So a bit breezier weather expected for your Sunday afternoon and evening. Can't rule out a stray shower farther inland. I do have those rain chances for Hendry and Glades toward Moorhaven and Clewiston around 20%. But lower rain chances right here along the coast. Also notice right here around 6 p.m. This particular model kind of picking up on the potential for some sea fog. So we will certainly be watching that as well. Otherwise, heading into your Sunday afternoon and evening, it will be breezy at times. Now let's fast forward to Monday. Monday could see some showers late in the day, but honestly, it does look like it will mainly be an overnight event when most of us are asleep and those showers are expected to be just that and featuring very little in the way of thunderstorms based upon the latest data. Of course, we'll continue to keep you informed as new data arrives. Meanwhile, overnight tonight, partly cloudy skies. Very light winds are expected. We'll start off tomorrow morning, upper 50s and lower 60s. As for those wind gusts for tomorrow, overall pretty light, manageable, 10 to 15 miles per hour from 9 a.m. onward, continuing through the afternoon. Those high temperatures climbing nicely above normal into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Keep in mind the normal high for this time of year, 77 degrees. Heading off to the beach, water temperature now 65 degrees, still a bit chilly. Boca Grande looking for those highs around 73, 72 for Captiva. Sanibel heading toward a high around 75 degrees. Sunday staying warm, breezy, lower 80s. Then our next cold front comes through early Tuesday morning, followed by a cool down next week.